not obsessed with size. I'm interested in trends, but not in branding the trend. Like saying tiny, tiny, tiny cars, the way to go. The way to go if, if, if you need that. You need a tiny, 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 tiny car. Besides, what kind of tiny car? Combustion engine, tiny car, or a bigger car that has a more modern engine? What is that, an electric car? I think we shouldn't be obsessed with the smaller, even ridiculously smaller, the better. Not always. I wouldn't focus just on yeah. size. Why? I think because they kind of look cool. I mean, I've done videos, right, with a guy from Seattle. He talked, showed me the smart. He showed me the that super small three-wheeled car that's not even a car. It's like a micro car, I guess. Or... See, that was 40 miles an hour in about 100 feet. I think the reason why, and actually I focused on those because they sell other cars too. I mean, because it's new for us in the States. Right? Like, it's cool looking. It's strange. You see a smart. For me, I still see a smart, and I think, oh, wow. That, it, like. When you see a smart, when I see a smart in Barcelona, I think about different things. With the weather Barcelona has, mm -hmm. and with being flat, this person doesn't need more than two seats. Mm -hmm. So, why not a motorbike? Which is cheaper, faster, you can park it everywhere in the city, legally. Why a smart? Because just in, I mean, it does rain sometimes, so I think just in case it's going to rain. And just the other, it, 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 why, why, why it has to be just in case I, I have to go to ski. It's the same. It's the same. If it rains, what people do in Barcelona, mm -hmm. they take the metro. What if you don't have public transit, like in the U.S.? I'm talking about you know um, a really particular case. Okay? I see what you're saying. You're saying if you're in a city, urban environment that's dense, that has urban transportation, why get a smart? Like if you're living in New York City, why would you get a smart? Right? I got a moto. Like my brother had a moped. Worked great. Yeah. I think people are also afraid of the safety thing. I think they feel safer inside a car than on a motorcycle. Well, that, that would be probably the only reason I would have against using a motorbike in a city like Barcelona instead of uh, a smart. Mm -hmm. Having a crew cab dually Ford driving down the, the Autobahn is probably not likely. I'm really interested in the studies that say that safety in cars is not related necessarily to size. Yep. It's more about defensive driving, and I think sometimes if you're an SUV, you can't be as defensive because it's so big, and so actually a smaller car can be better. Like, I think that's sort of a different way of looking at car safety, is looking at yeah. your ability to maneuver versus just the yeah. size and, and weight and strength what, of the car. What? How many do we have in the car here? One is sleeping. Five people in a car and a Prius. <laughs> do you feel a little squished? No, it's comfortable. All of us, if we take a spreadsheet and we say, okay, days we are gonna be more than two on the car a month or a year I would like to see what are the results in there so you think just we need to plan better I and mean, people need to like really know what they actually need and not we what they think they might need and we so need therefore. to be honest with ourselves uh, in twice a year you need to go to Lake Tahoe instead of buying one this thing and have it the whole year close to your house I would rent it how do we make the standard of living you want and the dreams you want good for us all hmm. so okay you have this Gas guzzler. Why don't you take the spirit of this machine, everything you like about it, yeah. and make it really smart. What's really smart? Well, don't be so damn to buy it with a combustion engine. But the reality is, come on, I mean, electric cars have to be smaller, it, like, to power them. And electric's not perfect either. I mean, they have to, they should be. Oh, I've read a lot of information related to that, and if you take into account everything, like the embodied energy of the total mm -hmm. of the product, yeah. that's not comparable. Electric is never going to, even, even powering that, that vehicle with electricity coming from coal, that's not going to be the same as a combustion engine gas guzzler. Plus right. petroleum, okay, petroleum. Why are we obsessed with using petroleum for damp things? Instead of, instead of using petroleum for as a gas, combustion engine, and then polluting the atmosphere, we could use all the petroleum for, you know, make like great coatings and plastics and things like that. Mm -hmm for good products mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like uh, you know building you know entire electric cars and things like that mm -hmm. it's not evil but, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i mean it's evil the way we use it yeah, yeah. the bad ways we, we you know